Okay, continuing in our Mike uh, Shipley series that we're going to be carving. Uh, this is one of my favorite books right here. And if you don't have this book in your library, for goodness sakes, get it. Because I'm going to tell you something. Most carvers have this book in their library. Uh, they've been carving a while. And to be honest with you, I'd get all of Mike Shipley's books in my library. I'll tell you what. But it's called Whittling the Old Sea Captains. And it's got the uh, complete... Uh, it's got the pictures. It's got the... Um, Let me, let me get here. Okay. It shows you how to, how to carve the figure and everything like that. We're going to be carving this figure today called the second mate. Now, this is the most popular little figure right here, this uh, little sea captain. But um, I like the second mate. I like him. And uh, because uh, his, uh, his coat actually opens and everything like that. But I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I've worn this book out a lot of times. Uh, these, uh, the, the patterns that he has here. He has three different patterns. He has the old sea captain, and then he has the second mates, in other words. And then he also, which, what's even better, he has the little lobster um, traps and the little oars and the little uh, 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 buoys, everything like that to carve with him. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful book. I'm going to tell you something, and once again, you, with this book, you get the, one, uh, the great um, way that Mike Shipley carves his figures, as uh, he's told me it's Ozark uh, flat plane carving is what he calls it, but this is a, this is a must-have book for your library. Um, see, he has the oars in there, the buoys, he has the crates, how to do them. This is the first mate, and he has the first mate and the second mate. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful book. He shows you even how to paint it, and then uh, he uses a, a solution, uh, an antiquing solution that he dips them in. And uh, but all of his books are first class. They're not cheap. I don't mean by price, but I mean they're 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 just professionally made. So uh, his website is Ozark Country Characters, and go and look at his stuff. Look at his, uh, he has a lot of rough outs, I'll tell you what. He even has rough outs of each one of these. Uh, 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 he has a rough out of this sea captain, I think, is what it is. And you can buy it, and uh, it's already cut out for you. And um, uh, just fantastic uh, pieces, I'll tell you what. So, I'll tell you, this is, this is where we're going to carve our little figure today. And uh, I have cut him out. I've cut him out. Now we're going to do something a little different. Mike carves all of his figures. If you notice, Mike's figures are carved on a base. He carves them with a base so he doesn't have to buy him a base. And we're going to do that today. This will probably be the first figure we've ever carved with a base, in other words. And he does that, of course, so he doesn't have to, uh, I'm sure, uh, buy bases. I mean, he can carve uh, uh, the base itself. But this is our project for today, the uh, first mate, and it's out of two inch wood. Now, uh, I, I reduced him just a little bit. Uh, he's, I think, originally seven inches, and I reduced him down to about six inches. So, because uh, um, um, bigger projects, sometimes a little bit hard to get all the camera in and everything like that. Okay, anyway, um, this is our project for today. And, and let me encourage you once again, go to Mike's website. He has everything that you need. He has the, um, uh, just about all the characters that he's done. He has uh, a rough outs for him. He has, uh, of course, the, the fantastic knife that I use all the time. The, uh, uh, Ron Wells originally made it, but Mike's making him a, 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 making a new type of knife now. You need to look at that. And uh, uh, just uh, when you, if you call to order anything, you can talk to him or his wife. And just fantastic. Uh, they're up in Missouri is where he has his shop. And uh, uh, Dora, Missouri. And uh, his, um, his stuff is just 
you know, most carvers have carved his, his, uh, his work. But anyway, here's our piece, and this is the thing we're going to carve today. And the first time, like I said, we're going to carve something actually with a base onto it. So let me put this down, and let's get our knife now. Now, as you can see, uh, this is a really a nice pattern for an, uh, a good little character. And the first thing that we want to do now, what, what you're going to learn this time is not only are we going to carve with a base, but when you don't have a base, you can't take a, you can't take a uh, um, bandsaw and cut out the, the uh, middle of the legs right here. So uh, this is one of the things we're going to do. You're going to do it with a knife, okay? You're going to do it with a knife. We're going to come in between the legs here. With, a, uh, with our knife and actually go through and clean that out. So the first thing that I would want to do when I start a project like this is make sure that my base is drawn all the way around just like this. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I think the first thing I would want to do is to remove Just come along here and take and just sort of separate that shoe from the base right there. Okay? Okay, on all sides. just so we can get general idea of where we are on the base, in other words. Now you don't take the base away from the shoe, you take the shoe away from the base. Okay, now on each side, as you know, he has a coat here, and I have drawn it on one side, so we're going to go to the other side, and it's going to be somewhere around in here. You kind of make, kind of make your, uh, and you go from this point down to here with your coat. You just, all you're doing is just sort of blocking this out where you can get a general idea. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're just going to establish our stopping points where everything is. And not only that, these are these are the way Mike carves is he tries to make it so simple for the carver but when you're through you have a really nice project and that's what he's good at I think he's the best at that really to, to simplify a project as far as a concern okay and of course this back here when you cut the project out is the back of the coat Okay. All right. Now then, let's go up here where our hat is and do the same thing. We're going to follow along by the hat, and we're just going to take away that right in there where the face is so that we make our boundaries. I always like to kind of make my boundaries of where everything's going to be. So I don't cut into it. Same thing over here. I went and drew it over here. And I'm cutting my boundaries here. There we go.
There you are. Take this off here.